Hello to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's that time in the afternoon where we check to see if we have anything to worry about in the tropics. Today, kind of a special day because it is actually the peak of hurricane season. We've made it to September 10th. So out of the last 170 years or so, we have usually had quite a bit of action around this time of the hurricane season, but this year is totally different. Actually, no named storms out there, no tropical storms, no hurricanes, and it does not appear that we're going to see a ton of action popping up, at least over the next week. There's one area that we're watching for a low chance for development as of today, but that is going to be about it. You can clearly see though on this map that huge spike right around September 10th showing that that is usually when we have the biggest number of named storms and the highest chance for multiple hurricanes churning out there in the Atlantic Basin. As we go through the rest of September, the first few weeks of October, we normally still have a fairly decent amount of action. Late October, November, things quickly start to kind of wind down, but even towards the end of hurricane season, there have been some years where we have had a little bit of activity. So you can't completely let your guard down until the hurricane season is totally over with, and that is not going to happen until we get all the way through the end of of November. All right, let's take a journey back to see where we've been this season. And of course, we started off with Tropical Storm Andrea towards the beginning of the season. Very tropical storm. Chantal was a tropical storm. We had Dexter, which grew to become a tropical storm. And then we had Aaron, the fifth named storm of the season and also the first hurricane and first major hurricane of the season. At this point, it has been the only hurricane, but it did blow up to a monster category five. Fair nine grew to become a tropical storm, but it is long gone. So we have been waiting for the last few weeks to see if and when we're going to get a tropical storm or Hurricane Gabrielle. So far, we have not had Gabrielle to develop, but you can see the other names on this list. We could potentially go all the way down to Sebastian, Tanya, Van, and Wendy, but for now, we are waiting on that G name storm, which is Gabrielle. So we are still waiting. We definitely have water temps out there in the Gulf, the Northwest Caribbean, the Western Atlantic, warm enough to support tropical activity. Of course, this warm water helps to fuel these tropical systems as they blow up and kind of sustain them. So if we get something going out here in the Gulf, it could quickly, rapidly develop into an intense tropical cyclone, but we just have not seen anything really starting to organize. But check out those water temps close to 90 degrees, super steamy out there, near record warm waters out there, feeling like bath water. So we certainly have the fuel for these tropical systems. We also still have quite a bit of Saharan dust across that main development region or that big portion of the central eastern Atlantic. That has been kind of hindering development off and on throughout the entire season so far. Typically, by the time we get to September, most of this dust starts to disperse or thin out and allows these tropical systems to kind of pop up even more. But that really hasn't happened a lot this season in September. So we still have quite a bit of dust out there. There are some breaks or some pockets where we don't have as much dust. And that is where we will look to see if any of these tropical waves that have been forming will survive. So as of this afternoon, we do have one area of investigation that we are monitoring. It is with a tropical wave coming off the west coast of Africa. But other than that, things are extremely quiet across the Caribbean, the Gulf and just about all of the Atlantic Ocean. But here's what we're watching right now. We've got an area of showers and storms starting to roll off of the west coast of Africa. Still fairly disorganized right now, but it looks like we may get enough of a break of that thick, dusty air, that Saharan dust, to where we could see some slow development of this system as it pushes to the west northwest. So as of this afternoon, National Hurricane Center giving this area of investigation about a 20% low chance for development over the next week or so, the next seven days. You can see the movement. It is going to be to the west and it's going to take it several days to get all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. So if it survives, we would have to see if it would impact any of those Caribbean islands, maybe make it into the Gulf, but that is a long ways away. So we certainly have a lot of time to watch it.
So just keep checking back day by day and we'll let you know what the models are showing. At this point, our Fox Weather Tropical model does show some spin here. It shows a little organization with that tropical wave by Sunday evening, but it is still way out there in the eastern Atlantic and it is not going to be getting close to us anytime soon. So like I said, if, if it survives that trek across the Atlantic Ocean and gets close to the Caribbean or Gulf, of course, we will be keeping a close eye on it and we'll let you know if there's anything to be concerned about. Elsewhere, looking at the Gulf, the Caribbean over the next couple of days. In fact, all the way through the weekend, early next week, there are some general areas of showers and storms, but just not a lot to be concerned about right now. I don't really see anything organizing that would give us some tropical trouble, at least through early next week. However, like I said at the beginning, this is typically when we're our busiest and most active across the Atlantic Basin in September. Most of those storms typically form around the central Atlantic, western Atlantic, but there is an above normal shot for tropical cyclone formation across the Gulf for the month of September. So just be alert, be aware that things could pop off <laughs> very quickly. And so you definitely want to be ready to take action. But right now there's nothing threatening the Gulf. In October, named storms tend to pass through the Northwest Caribbean and the Western Atlantic. That's where we have our best shot for tropical action. But as we look over towards the Gulf, there's still a higher than average chance. So we still have to monitor things closely. Closely, but let's just hope we can keep this quiet streak going. So that's what's happening in the Atlantic Basin. Let's hop over to the Eastern Pacific where there's a much higher chance we could have a tropical storm or a hurricane really by this weekend, maybe by the end of the work week. We're looking at an area of concern that has become an invest or area of investigation. This is Invest 95E. It's going to be an area that is getting closer to Acapulco. It is an area of low pressure now that has formed. It's a broad area of low pressure. It's not super organized at this point, but it is forecast to become stronger and push to the west northwest, kind of moving almost parallel to that southwestern and western Mexican coast. So a tropical depression or tropical storm Mario will be likely late this week, likely passing south of Acapulco and pushing west northwest. It will be a high chance for development for this system for the next 48 hours, 70%, and for the next week, 90% chance for development. It's almost certain that we are going to have some sort of tropical entity here, tropical cyclone developing near Acapulco over the next few days. You can see Thursday night, you can kind of see that spin, that swirl getting more organized by Friday, Saturday, moving a little bit farther away from that Mexican coast and passing south of the Baja California Peninsula by Sunday evening. But definitely you could see that area of low pressure that counterclockwise spin and those rain bands wrapping around that center of circulation so this once it develops will be moving away from the texas coast but of course still something that we will be monitoring closely good news with kiko that was passing north of the hawaiian islands it has completely fallen apart. It's being called post-tropical cyclone Kiko. No additional advisories being issued. The big waves that folks across Hawaii were experiencing are starting to kind of wind down. So good news there, but there could still be a few rip currents. So that is about it as far as with what's happening in the tropics. Of course, keep checking back daily and we'll let you know if anything else pops up, if we have anything to be concerned about. But keep in mind, it is the peak of hurricane season. So make sure that you have all of the emergency hurricane gear that you need, proper insurance, make sure you know your evacuation routes. You always want to be prepared just in case things get active in a hurry. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.